And now I want to move to our last session, closing session. Uh, Rahanu Rashid, are you there? Ajmain, yes, sir, I'm, I'm here. Ajmain, are you there, Ajmain? Yes, sir, I'm here, I'm present. I'm calling. I'm Good, and uh, Professor Celia, are you there? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I think it's now your part. Just for your information, from our this particular session, uh, honorable speakers, you know it's Australia, it's, more, uh, it's uh, 2 a.m. or something, but Howard uh, is with us, Katina is still with us, and uh, Saif Islam, Professor Saif Islam, you know him very well. Uh, so I also requested uh, Professor Saif Islam to be with us. Uh, so uh, you can start the closing session. Uh, I uh, maybe first of all we'll be having our uh, speech from the honourable mayor. Uh, after, if you give a brief about our whole program, then it will be easier also for him and all other guests who are here. We have now more than 120 participants. It's almost 9:40. So I. I I am now moving to the closing session to Professor Celia Shanas, the organizing, uh, I mean, the general chair of this ICC 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Fatta, for, uh, for conducting and for mobilizing <clears throat> and for encouraging everyone, binding everyone, and thanks to the contributors. So if uh, it's a great moment for all of us, actually, uh, just a few days back, uh, we did the Asia Pacific first fully virtual conference, handling more than thousand papers, but ultimately uh, accepted four forty six papers with forty four speakers, seventy one technical sessions, and many other parallel tracks. It was actually when all the programs around the world, like IEEE Section Congress, were all 10 IEEE regions, leaders, volunteers gathered together. That has been canceled. Many flagship conferences and the cancels. At that time, we really worked hard with our young volunteers and technical committee members to, uh, to create an impact in the research field so that we can really encourage people for timely dissemination of the research. And that's the start. That's the pillar, and that encouraged many others in whole Asia. And after that, two more regented conferences in virtual, they were supposed to get Delhi. So we feel pleasure that we could do something to encourage others. And with that motivation, we thought it's COVID, and I myself is engaged in COVID-19 research, and many other friends in Region 10 are doing COVID-19 research. And we have done series of webinars handling and letting our students, young professionals know about COVID-19 research. I thought that, that there are a lot of students, we have sent them to village home with poor connectivity and they were very good in the hostel and residential areas. Now suddenly we send back to the village home and we are expecting that they will be do it. they will be joining online for our educational activity. So in this uh, turbulence moment, we really wanted to engage them in some meaningful activity relevant to the current situation. That's why we have launched this COVID Congress one, one day night, 2 a.m. Suddenly it came into my idea. Then I discussed with my volunteers that what can be done. I thought that, that there are many students who are, may not do a high caliber research like Prof. Saif Islam and other people, what they are doing around the world, but at least they have a good thinking. Let us think and let us listen from them. And with that, we had designed this idea, project, uh, research progress, policy making like this. And in such contributions, we have around four hundred contributions from the Asia Pacific and beyond Asia Pacific. Apart from it, apart from the contributor, we had 400 regular registration and it was just for listening to those ideas and uh, projects and research progress. Then we thought that there are 
more than 39 technical societies in IEEE around the world. Why don't we collaborate with them and why don't we listen what are the researchers in those domains are thinking. With that motivation, we really launched a Women in Engineering Tech Summit where we invited many women in whole Asia Pacific or beyond Asia Pacific that how they are handling their research, their social life and their other lives in this COVID-19. We did young professionals meetup and it became from a local meetup, it became an international meetup where actually the people uh, focused about how do they maintain the membership in this challenging time, how we can do humanitarian technology in this challenging time, how we will foster the industry engagement in this challenging time, so many activities. And then also we did industry application society conclave that how industry applications for robotics, for humanitarian technology, for power and energy society from PLS are thinking and handling their research. And then we did signal processing and machine learning conclave and also engineering medicine biology conflict and most important our very own IEEE society panel on handling COVID-19 where um, Katina and Howard have joined. And most important thing, our IEEE president, Toshio Fukuda, has joined our inauguration yesterday. It was a uh, Maybe uh, uh, our internet is uh, somehow a uh, lot. It's common problem sometimes. So we need to switch. Uh, it's not a, a problem. So I, I think she was giving the brief as a, a general chair and uh, our honorable mayor Atikul Islam is with us as I said before and with us we have a lot of respected speakers with us. So uh, I would like to ask our honorable chief guest of the closing session, uh, I mean if you are uh, comfortable now to deliver your uh, address uh, it would be great for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to give a thanks uh, to Sheikh Fatah to arrange such kind of wonderful uh, the arrangement 2020 International COVID-19 Congress. I'd like to give a thanks to all the respective guests, respective speakers, the I have I heard from Professor Salia that uh, the last two days we have a lot of discussion, seminar, conversation. So that's a very uh, unique platform. I believe that that from 2020 International COVID-19 Congress. I'd like to give a thanks, special to IE Bangladesh section as well. Of course, uh, in this session I have really. I just joined uh, 30 minutes back and I, I'm just wondering why not I just, I, I, I went through last two days conversation for the knowledge sharing, but I like to give a thanks to uh, give a big honor to me as a city mayor of Dhaka North. Well, as you know that in the Dhaka city, especially in the city North, there is a 49,000 people are living per square kilometer. 49,000 people are living per square kilometer. And we have, a, uh, we have a conversation last few days back in the world, 120 mayors. We have a forum called C40. And when we're discussing about that 49,000 square kilometer and uh, versus there's a lot of mayors. They have a, only 120 uh, per square kilometer they are living. But it is a tough for everybody. It is not for tough for us, for everybody especially for this kind of pandemic. Yes, there is a SARS, there is an avian flu, there is a swine flu, there is a MERS, there is a COVID-19, but we don't know what will be the next. Cross-fingering, uh, we believe that there should not be anything, but we don't know. So there is a very, this session is very important that how we can make a, like one size fit all this kind of apps. What's going on in other countries now, this is a global international summit. For this global summit, 
uh, my urge to all over the countries, the, all the specialists, uh, all the specialists, that how we can make the one size fit all this kind of apps. If we can make it, then it is very great contribution for this session. Like I'm just giving an example. When the workers is going to the their village, we cannot stop them. If we want to stop them, they are not listening. Let's, let's think about our the government's workers. That we have a four million government's workers. They love to go to the village. We are saying don't go to the village, but they are not listening. So for this kind of pandemic, we really need such kind of apps or any technical know-how because in this session, the, there is a very good knowledge sharing and as well as I've seen that a lot of uh, new things, they are disseminating each other. We have to think about how we can give the knowledge sharing with the rural people also. The rural people, uneducated people, and educated people also. They're the most educated people also, they're not wearing the mask. They don't know what to do. And of course the rural as well. And so I, my urge will be that in this uh, seminar, see today, there is a how many people are there the jobless. So the, we have to do such kind of new innovation and new ideas. People should not be the jobless. Economy should be run. Country should not stop. We need this kind of solution. And I believe that in this auspicious occasion, the, all the renowned, very highly educated, highly knowledgeable forum is going on now. So I will be the humble request that I have just seen that India, they have did the RT-PCR machine, they are giving the result very fast. I have seen Mr. Siddiqui from Kingston, Queens University, he is giving some good kind of suggestion, how the Malaysia, they are doing it. So we need to the sum up and we need to do the good practice, which is good for the rural people, which is good for the urban and which is good for the all kind of society also, no matter what, how rich it is. But we cannot stop the, our economy. We cannot stop it. It has already been proven that a lot of countries, they have stopped it. But now again, the pandemic has started. So we need the solution. As a mayor, I cannot do the solution. I'm not the expertise. You are the, this forum is the, all the expertise. So I will just say that we believe is in it. We believe in working rather than talking. We need the solution. In this international 2020 COVID in Congress one, I urge that you please come together as a city mayor of Dhaka city. If any kind of private public partnership as a test case, I am urged, uh, I'm giving my open to all of you. Let's work together. Let's make this our new generation ready for this kind of new technology, new methodology, and how we can manage now until unless the researcher or the physician they are going to invent the injection or this kind of tikka or the medicine. We have to manage this COVID. So for the management, we need this kind of apps, this kind of technology. For this management, I believe from this 2020, inter this kind of international COVID-19 Congress will come up this kind of management solution apps-based technology. With that, I again, I like to give you thanks and a special thanks, Mr. Fatha, to arrange such kind of wonderful initiative. So with that, I like to say goodbye. This is a lot of good morning, midnight, good night, good afternoon to all of you guys. Thank you so much to invite me as a chief guest. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, but uh, uh, Honorable Mayor, uh, we need you a few more minutes because 
a lot of uh, competitions uh, went on during the last two days and our i mean we have a lot of ideas i'm sure first of all i should say because yeah i'm a professor i am a researcher but believe me uh, our mayor is really very dynamic so i had an opportunity to meet with him to share ideas with him sometimes when you are in a leadership position it's very important to at least understand what the researchers are telling so you should that patient so i i i have seen like our mayor is like that so but you you, you can understand the situation of a country or the city itself it has a lot of problems you cannot it's just not you cannot solve it within a second within a minute we have to give him time so given the time i'm sure that he will be able to solve most of the problems and uh, even now it's a very big problem but we, we are not bad we are we are facing the problems uh, in a good manner i should say so thanks to honorable mayor uh, Thank you. before i go to uh, we will be giving uh, not all prizes just uh, there are project project competition idea competition uh, research uh, idea competition and debate competition the word you have said that we have to i mean continue economy cannot be stopped the final debate the uh, i mean it's very coincident the topic of the final debate was uh, life or livelihood i mean uh, the debate was like that so yes. just uh, a few minutes back the debate ended uh, okay. so before that uh, if i uh, if you give me permission because i can see our honorable speakers are there i just uh, keep them waiting for you if you can share just one or two minutes any suggestions to our mayor uh, that can help our country to move forward our city to move forward i appreciate uh, saif islam howard and katina all you are there uh, so if you kindly unmute and uh, introduce yourself and uh, if you have any suggestion uh, professor saif islam you are there in my view you are the first you can tell to our mayor saiful bhai saiful bhai bolen Oh, uh, 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 bhai, uh, so this is uh, another Saif Islam. He is also he's University of California. Uh, um, and Saif, uh, our uh, Saifur sir, he is in uh, I mean other part. In, okay. So, but he, so he is from California. Uh, UC Davis, Alfred Davis, Saif Islam. He is also a Tibetan fellow. So, which which Saif Islam would talk? Uh, me or? the other side. so our mayor said previously in our last meeting it was a smart village event and professor saifur rahman uh, our uh, virginia tech that professor he, he came so our mayor right. came that's why he was confused with that please please share please professor rahman no no uh, saifur rahman is not here you are here oh it's me so shall i introduce myself yes yeah, sure 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 yes okay. yes please okay hello everyone uh, I'm really pleased to be uh, with you all. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to join this uh, event. I'm impressed by IEEE Bangladesh chapters, all these amazing activity and uh, timely initiatives uh, that uh, not only helps us to inspire uh, the researchers, but also the society, the mayor even got excited and joined. Uh, I am really, really impressed to see how this uh, uh, chapter is now making news all over the world, uh, not only around Indian subcontinent. Thank you very much for offering your leadership to address uh, this uh, global pandemic. And uh, thanks everyone for joining. I see almost 130 people here. And thanks to the mayor uh, for very encouraging, uh, very uh, uh, inspiring words and for joining us. Uh, I'm not sure what your background is, but it seems like you are enjoying this, uh, this conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Saiful Islam is a Yes, I am from Dhaka, city mayor. So really it is an inspiring message uh, to you as well. So I like to say one thing that, you know, uh, the people has a lot of demanding nowadays and they are blaming me. Why the city mayor, you, why not you do such kind of things, such kind of things. So if we get this kind of innovation ideas, solution based ideas, and it, uh, if we can do like, like why, when it is in China, the COVID, why not we can do such kind of things to stop it from China? Why it is spreading such a long, long, long process and lost so many lives? So I have a humble request to all the expertise. 
we need to do because nowadays we are all are thinking out of the box so how we can do this kind of stopping of course i know the pandemic is we cannot stop the pandemic but how quick we can reduce this kind of pandemic with the knowledge sharing and as well as the in the digital platform see 120 uh, all the participant were organizing such a wonderful digital platform now so we we read i have a humble request we really need to do the solution based any kind of apps or any kind of chips or any kind of new technology thank you thank you honorable mayor uh, professor said islam as i was requesting you because uh, for our honorable mayor uh, said islam he is very much passionate to do something some betterment in our country so okay. uh as like saifur rahman you met with him uh, personally and uh, you know that he is also eager to do something good for us so i think in future also professor saif islam so we'll be having a talk with our honorable mayor if you have suggestions i know that you have many good initiatives even with covid so you can share with the mayor and uh, he is such a person he is accepting most of the ideas and trying his best uh, to implement that thank you professor saif islam now thank i can towards a uh, howard so you were you had a lot of experience so i don't have to introduce you so he you you, you are a uh, top big guy in i triple so our mayor is there so what's your suggestion uh the thing that bothers me and has nothing to do with this conference it has to do with many many individuals who lack what i call self discipline and are very self centered something as simple as wearing a face mask when in public we have major issues in the united states with people who feel that that is impinging upon what they call their freedom and that strongly upsets me because their freedom ends where my health begins uh, this is a major issue that we have and i think it's probably an issue in other countries as well where people refuse to wear masks we've even had people go beyond that and it's very embarrassing to say this but they have spit at other people just to aggravate them uh this is something that individuals can do to help reduce the spread of covid-19 uh we don't have a vaccine today we don't have any cures for it but it's very important that everybody does their share to help reduce the spread of the virus. Uh we have other issues about schools. When do schools start? Uh, do they do it virtually? Do they do it in classroom? In the state of Mississippi, schools started already and in the first week they had to shut down the several schools because uh, faculty and students tested positive for the virus. So there there are no simple solutions. A lot of problems we're wrestling with, but big challenges. Now having said all of that, I'd like to thank the organizing committee for putting together this conference. Uh I know it's very challenging to do this. It wasn't done with a year or two of planning. Uh there've been a couple of technical glitches, but that's life. We have to get around the technical glitches and move forward. But again, thank you all very much for all the efforts that that you put forth in in, in putting together the conference. Thank you. Thank you for your uh patience because you are here uh we kept you waiting for our closing session yes you are uh, telling the same thing what our mayor said like uh, some people are uh, taking the opportunity of their freedom but making us in the risk uh, the same thing we are facing as mayor mentioned uh thank you thank you howard uh, you are from uh, now we are moving towards katina katina michel if you can share something Uh thank you Dr. Sheik uh for everything you have done uh to organize this as well as uh Celia thank you to all the organizing committee to the presenters uh to the honorable mayor for coming and and sharing his wise words that was really a wonderful way to finish this uh, wonderful congress that was put together in a location where this is not the only issue uh you know living in this part of Asia in particular uh and surrounded by neighboring countries the issues are even greater than covid i might say um we are struggling with a multiplicity of issues and we are looking for a way to have some kind of connectivity with our citizens if i stress 
the most important thing perhaps is uh, somehow to provide access to higher speed networks for those people in rural areas. Uh, I was spo speaking last week uh, to another conference uh, at Lido College in India last week and the college was having its foundation day but maybe there were 500 people online but again the connectivity issues with the rural area and with COVID people want to stay home but the access to education, the access to information, the access to raising awareness is complex because of the fact that they don't have access to the internet. And so while in the West we can celebrate, you know, give or take with outages, a good level of access to broadband connectivity, how do we do that throughout Asia? And again, it, it stresses the public interest here beyond the profit. Are we going to move to a government initiative that takes into consideration the support of big tech to say, yes, we will provide connectivity and then the services will be able to offer uh, to our constituents, our citizens, so that we can move on to transform in another way, so that the economy can lift out of perhaps, uh, in some cases, in some countries uh, in the south of Asia, perhaps a poverty cycle, even in Africa or South America. So I think the, the magnanimous moment of IEEE Bangladesh section to put this con Congress together is huge. Thank you, because it, it gives hope to all of us who are supporting each other in Asia. It gives hope to the students. It gives hope to those uh, expats, for example, like Saif Islam, who are in the US like I am at the moment, and Howard, uh, who's been there for, for, you know, for forever. It, it's, it's giving us a way to connect. And I think that's a wonderful opportunity. And with those words, I'll close and say again, a great thank you to the organizers for everything they've done to put this together. Thank you. Thank you, Katina, for uh, giving us time and sharing your nice uh, experience and research. So we are almost at the end of this session. So now, uh, with your permission, Honorable Mayor, we have a few competitions. So I would like to request first the project competition uh, winner. Uh, so our project competition coordinator, IEEE Bangladesh Section Secretary Raihan. So I hope you have all the results with you. So there are more than uh, 35 projects are finally selected and allowed to present 35 project proposals, all related to COVID. So I appreciate. Uh, and Ajmain, maybe you uh, will be presenting the certificates, uh, showing the certificates? Yes, yeah. OK. So, uh, Honorable Mayor, your, uh, I mean, who will be the winner? You can please. Uh, I mean, show your video. So definitely at that time, your video will become very in front of us and mayor will be there and you know, it's a virtual. So your certificate will be shown on the screen. So that's the mode generally we use in the virtual case. So uh, Ryan or Rashid, project Thank team. You, sir. Later. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, we, ha we had submit, uh, we had submi uh, submission from uh, sub uh, sub uh, 36 submission. Uh, out of 36, 17 were from uh, outside of country, and 29 of them were presented. Uh, first, I would like to announce our honorable mentions. Uh, the honor first honorable mention is uh, Team Breath. Their project title is Mechanical CPAP and BiPAP Ventilator. Congratulations. 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 So mechanical, uh, so it's a ventilator, good ventilator. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. That particular team is from where, Bangladesh? Yes, sir, it's from Bangladesh. Team Brett oh, okay. from Bangladesh. So if the team is there, you can say hi. So otherwise you will not understand where are you. Out. All the teams are here, congratulations to the team. The second honorable mention uh, from Bangladesh team Corona Jachai. Uh, their project title is also Corona Jachai. Oh, that's interesting. Corona Jachais. That's good. <laughs> Hello, Hello, sir. Corona <laughs> Congratulations. Hello, Keep everyone. it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. The Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And the third honorable mention is from India. Uh, COMS, team name, team name COMS. Their uh, project title is COVID-19 Detection Through AI-Powered Mass Corona Surveillance System. Congratulations, India. Uh, okay. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
थैंक यू नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू द टॉप थ्री प्राइजेस कूलिंग सिस्टम Congratulations, Malaysia. Okay, here is your certificate. You can see here. Oh, the certificate. Oh, that's a nice certificate. Very nice. Thank you. Very, 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 very nice. There, there sure there should not be any kind of corona in the in the certificate. Okay, that's why it is in the yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And the okay. first runner up and the second place. first runner up uh, from bangladesh uh, oh. team hydroxy uh, petit hydroxy petit uh, their project title is high performance uv disinfection cabinet for masks and personal protective equipment so congratulations congratulations bangladesh team for such kind of wonderful big congratulations thank you and uh, now the champion of the project contest uh from india team name chaturbhuj with the project oh. title design a multi purpose extension key to reduce human contacts in public places that's very good well what is the name chaturbhuj yes sir team name chaturbhuj from india but they, but they gave a, they gave a, they provided a bengali name thanks that's a lot good. sir thanks a lot sir thanks a lot thank you thank thanks, you very sir. much chaturbhuj <laughs> you are from which part of india sir Such i am wonderful. from central india from central india oh. yes sir madhya yeah. pradesh bhopal yes madhya right? pradesh madhya yes bhopal yeah 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 i have lot of friends there thank you and all the proposals we have your abstract and video presentations so we have also taken the permission from them uh, when they have submitted the 3 minutes video uh, so we we are uh, uploading that video so honorable mayor uh, your office can also have a chance to see yeah definitely definitely yeah actually actually i think that, that is the uh, that is the end of the presentation or no still there is a other presentation as well other so, uh, this is the the end of project Compet competitions award okay so next mm -hmm. then next is uh, research sharing research process sharing uh, there are only two uh, prizes i'm going to announce the runner up uh, the research title is pcf spr analytic detection technology from mr m ifaz ahmed isti from bangladesh from bangladesh congratulations at least covid 19 ifaz congratulations thank you very much thank you sir and the thank champion you. is from india a hybrid model to disinfect respirators and personal protective equipment uh, that's great that's great that's great congratulations 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 hey fatih bhai fatih bhai amar jete hobe dosher shomoy amar ekta conference ache fatih bhai okay 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 sir sir i mean fatih bhai I just say few things. Can I allow me to say few things? Then I can quit. I have another things to do. Because okay, so I like to give a thanks, a special thanks to all the winners on behalf of Dhaka uh, North City Corporation, Mr. Fatta. I want to arrange a special thanks from my uh, Dhaka City North, and of course you are giving the certificate, and I like to give a special gift. to all the winners no matter which country on uh, from the thank you sir so so because this is a maybe this is a small gift but it is a uh, i will say this is the token of love and token of that the message that we want to be together for not for the uh, for the only bangladesh for globally for to save this kind of pandemic issues so i am very sorry that i could not attend and, and till the uh, end of this meeting but i am really appreciating to invite me and again congratulations for the winners and those are not the winners i will say they are the much more bigger chances to come forward and give your new innovation and uh, out of the box thinking
Thank you very much okay. to all of you. Honorable Thank Lord, you sir, very... we have a certificate for you. So could you just hold on <laughs> some second? Call me the certificate. Yes. <laughs> without, <laughs> without, 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 without any kind of innovation. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, no, I think we cannot give you crest at this moment. No hard copy crest. So we have that's the right. soft no. copy certificate for you. So nice of you, uh, <laughs> Professor Tyler. So nice of you. Salia. Okay. Hi. I'll share from Atik Bhai. So we have a uh, uh, definitely we will be uh, sharing these all ideas. That the main concept was uh, uh, she was uh, thinking like how we will gather all and it will definitely help you. So we'll be sharing very soon. Okay, thank you very much. So with that, Khuda Hafiz, bye bye. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangla. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, is it over now? Uh, sir, uh, uh, Honorable Fatta, sir, uh, I would like to uh, request you that uh, can we share the idea competition prize and the other segment, the debate prize? Now? Yeah, next is idea. Yeah, it's a, your your it's your under your so idea coordinator was Asmain bin Amir, a very very dedicated volunteer. I am sure by this time all the idea guys you have already met with him several times, several occasions, several issues. So I think you last two days, actually not last two days, so, so many days you are dealing with a lot of idea people. So innovative ideas. I have the chance to read all those ideas. Excellent. Carry on. Give, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, so actually uh, in our idea session, uh, the most interesting, I, I will tell that this was the most interesting part. So here we had total 63 ideas from uh, like more than four different countries were submitted. And... Uh, actually we could present 41 ideas in last two days and in those 41 ideas so there are like more than uh, 20 foreign ideas and actually and the rest are from Bangladesh and another most interesting thing is actually we declared uh, top 10 idea uh, ideas so here I, I will just uh, call one by one so all those ideas so here uh, actually I'm starting with the 10th idea so I'll just uh, recite the idea title. So the 10th idea team, so idea teams, are you here? So you can unmute yourself, okay? So because you got selected from 63 ideas. So it's like huge participants. So I think, so yeah, here, if you are the winner, just shout. <laughs> so here is not there. So, so you can... the 10th place is the team, idea team name, Codrone. So Codrone, are you here? So, okay, so our 10th idea uh, place was for Codrome and uh, the team, um, just, just a second. So in Codrome team, actually there were, uh, yes, there were two participants. One is Shamatul Jannat Raisa and the other one is Fosli Rabbi. So big clap for them. So thank you, congratulations, Codrome. So now I'm going to the ninth team. So the ninth place is for the shared idea title is Our Me on COVID-19. And the Our Me on COVID-19 team name, uh, the members they joined in this team was Tabia Tazin Prema and Emri Mushfiq Anwar. So congratulations team, you got the ninth place in our idea competition. So now I'm going to the eighth place. And in eighth place, the idea title was COVID fighter. So COVID fighter, are you here? So congratulations, COVID fighter. And yes, in this COVID thank fighter, you, thank you. Oh yeah, you're most welcome. And in this team, uh, there are three team members, Shiddhat, uh, Shiddha, sorry, Siddhant, uh, assistant Professor uh, Biju and uh, Jagit Singh. So congratulations. I think this team is from India. Congratulations. And here at the seventh place. Yes, and the team idea title is Toward Smart Education with Learning Fairly. And in this team, uh, there was Devasish uh, Go Guntia. Uh, yes, sir. Oh yeah, congratulations, Devashish. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. And uh, Nilamani and Manos. So congratulations, Thank you, team. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
And after that, we are going to the sixth place. So in sixth place, so our team, ne, okay, so congratulations. So that idea title of the sixth place was creation of integrated platform for different sources of health data. And yeah, it is idea I-21. So are you here? Idea I-21, we are Anita. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And we are there. SM we are here, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome. So right now, in the the actually in top ten, actually we are declaring a prize money for one to five. Okay. So right now, this sixth place, you will get our certificate. But now, from the fifth place to the champion place, they will receive a money. Yes, monetary prize. And the Thank prize you. money is, uh, and it is our Bangladeshi Taka. So we are declaring our prize money in Taka. So I'm actually at first declaring the idea prize money. So the fifth prize, uh, actually the fifth position for the idea, they will receive 2,000 Bangladeshi Taka. The fourth prize, they will receive 3,000 Bangladeshi Taka. The third prize place, they will receive 5,000 Bangladeshi Taka. The second place, they will receive 7,000. And the first place, they will receive 10,000 BDT. So I think you guys are, idea guys are already excited. So right now I'm going to declare uh, the top five positions, okay? So here we go. So, okay. So now the fifth place. So yes, the idea must reminder. So must reminder, reminder, are you here? Your idea ID is I46. So I46, you are the fifth place winner. Congratulations. And in I46, uh, there are three members. Albin Baby, Prabin James, and Atul Dash. So congratulations. And we are going to the fourth place. So guys, get ready. And the fourth place is Plasma BD. So congratulations, Plasma BD. And your idea uh, ID is I-36. So Plasma BD, are you here? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank congratulations. You. Congratulations, Shukurna. And you, in the fourth place, uh, our participant's name is ANM Nafiul Islam, Shukurna Islam, and ASM Sadman Sakib. They are from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, Buyat. And now we are going to the second runner, uh, actually the, yeah, the second runner up place. So the second runner up. Yes. So the second runner up uh, team idea ID is I-41. So I-41, are you here? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, congratulations, Rajiv. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Islam and Rushwadash. So very good congratulations you got thanks a lot thanks a lot sir thanks a lot thank you sir at, le okay. at least mention at least mention the affiliation from where they are which university uh, ma'am uh, ma we are from i people assist student branch haji mohammad okay. science and technology university dinas so thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am ma okay so now we are going to the uh, second place actually the first runner up so the first runner up so your idea id is i24 humanity app so are you here mohammed mahabub sawar shafi shohid hussain mohib and md shadizib zaman khan so you are the first runner up of our idea session very good congratulations So are you here, guys? So I think uh, they're not present here. So now it's for time for the champion team. And the champion team is idea I-58. So very big congratulations to the champion of our idea team. And your idea title is Design of Portable Health Center for COVID-19. So in that team, there were two participants. Dr. J. Ram Kumar and Siddharth 
भोपाल मध्य प्रदेश सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया Uh, Professor Celia must be knowing because uh, she is very much connected with that. Okay. Um, you are yes. able to see me? Okay. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. One of one of my best friends is Bishal Ratra. He is from Bhopal. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Great to hear that. Thank Ratra, you. Ratra, Bishal Ratra. Okay, ma'am. Great to hear that. So far, I know he is from Corona lockdown area, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Actually. Thank you, thank you, uh, Ajmain bin Amir. Thanks a lot for your lot thank of support day and night with uh, you to eat very enthusiastic idea project competition competitors. So yes, all the competitors, our project, our research competition, our idea competition is done. So thanks Sir, to judges. I would like to mention one thing that our uh, debate competition winners are yet to declare. Yes, Nasim is waiting. Nasim is. <laughs> the same i know that a lot of enthusiastic debates going on last first round second round third and then final yes I sir know. so okay now is your time about the debate uh, thank you everyone for uh, waiting uh, till uh, this moment uh, uh, before announcing the winners and i would like to thank honorable judges uh, of the debate competition Uh, Mr. Tofi Kraman, affiliated with Islam Group and advisor of Dhaka North City Corporation. Uh, Dr. Rifat Jahan, faculty member of AIUB. Saif Ahmed, faculty member of AIUB. Uh, Muhammad Hafiz Ismail, education chair of IPPE uh, Malaysia section. Uh, Dr. Shariat Khan, professor, independent university, IPPE Bangladesh, Bangladesh. Uh, Mr. Alspar Adi, PhD candidate, uh, Concordia University, Canada. Uh, Dr. Rifat. Hajari, faculty member of AIUB, uh, Ibtidaul Karim, a uh, faculty member of Kuwait, um, and <clears throat> Ainul Alam Shah Jamal Khan, associate professor Kuwait, and also we had uh, two other uh, judges in the uh, preliminary round, uh, Dr. Lamia Iftekhar and Redwan Fedus. I thank all of them for their hard work uh, for selecting these uh, tremendous teams. So we had eight teams for today's uh, qualifying round out of twenty. So it was very much tough for us to select who is the winner or who is runner-up or who is uh, going to take part in the final debate contest. But we had to uh, follow a process. Uh, we had four four debate sessions. We had four winners and four uh, four runner four 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 winners and four uh, four other teams. So. Uh, from the winning teams we have invited top two winners uh, top two winners in the final round so before announcing the uh, champion and runner up i want to acknowledge two teams uh, as a honorable mention award uh, based on the scores given by the honorable judges uh, the teams are team d14 uh, blitz from haji danesh university of science and technology team blitz honorable mention award so another men honorable mention award from uh, asanullah university of science and technology d04 tesla's army team d04 any member from team d04 hello sir we can hear you yes so you are honorable mention award so now time for Thank the uh, runner up award the runner up award goes to uh Shadow debaters from IEEE Bombay section, India. Shadow debaters, Team D18. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank uh, you so D, much. Thank team you, D18. Thank you so much. So now, finally, Team D08 champion. Thank you, sir. We are here. Stupid Trinity, Buet, IEEE Buet, Bangladesh. Thank you, sir. We are here. Congratulations.
Thank Congratulations, you. Team uh, D0A. So it was very difficult because the topic for the final debate was lives versus livelihood. It was very, <laughs> it was very debatable topic. So I thank our judges. They have uh, put a remarkable, um, a remarkable effort to uh, find out the uh, champion and find yeah, out the runner-up. Yeah. Thank you, so, sir. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, all the teams. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A lot of uh, judges. Thank you. Thank you, all the judges. <laughs> so final number of judges. Number of the judges more than number of teams. That's good. <laughs> you can yeah. say like. <laughs> like your publications should be more than so, your age. So it That's made the competition more transparent, I guess. Exactly, exactly. So for me, that's why I, I am no more your judge because it's very difficult to say this is yes. so who own actually life or uh, livelihood. Like what happened? Uh, uh, the lives, lives, lives on the uh, debate competition. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, and livelihood both are necessary. It's very difficult. So I think all the debaters, because I was very involved with this process with Nassim day and night, uh, what should be the process, how we will evaluate every single second we have to talk a lot. And you have seen that how every moment we are changing different things. <clears throat> so thank you. Thank you. Your judgment was very difficult because from 20 to 11 to 11 to 8. So we had a lot of discussions how to select 8. So thank you. Thank you, Nassim. Yes. I think, uh, Professor Celia, these are the all competitions that we have run and uh, we thank to our policy uh, presenters because at uh, that section only five policies were presented so far, I know. So uh, I, it, it, it was under uh, project and research. So uh, maybe, uh, Raihan, if you have the name, at least you can say the name after some time if you have those names uh, for the policy presenters. So. Uh, if you check uh, just the name of the policy presenter and uh, I should again say we are almost at the end of this event. So, uh, Professor Celia Shanaj, are you there? Uh, I mean, uh, maybe uh, the Nasim by the same or Ajmain or Raihan? Sir, yes, sir, I am here. Uh, the, the policy, policy, uh, if you just uh, sir, take... policy data is in, uh, uh, in Raihan has... Sir, uh, policy data isn't yet uh, with us. It just ended uh, before the... No, 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 I don't... Uh, first second, but there are only five. Yes, yeah, sir, yeah. there are only five. So there are only the, five. I just, I'm just going to announce the name. Yeah, that uh, will... Who, who presented the policies. Uh, the, po the policy title, uh, Smart Technologies to improve senior care Canadian context. It was presented by Mr. Azfar Adib. And the second policy uh, was uh, that was uh, from our uh, Mr. Rajib Shubhra Datta, reduce unemployment in post COVID-19 and create a skilled workforce uh, to adopt for fourth industrial revolution. Uh, the Th third uh, policy ID was IP4. Uh, it was presented by uh, Mr. Deepak Weicker, exponential learning in the midst of COVID-19. And the fourth uh, policy uh, was presented by Mr. Imran Amin, digital technology strategies combat COVID-19. And there was a special uh, policy uh, was presented uh, in our session. Uh, if uh, Selimam is here, uh, she can announce the name. You have to give me in the chat box. Okay, so that's the policy, yes, uh, because it, it is a senior level policy we asked for. Uh, I read the policy, <clears throat> those are very nice. Uh, thank you for uh, the policy presenters because it's not very easy to say about the policy because we have rejected some of the proposals because it should be really some policy uh, making stage. So uh, when I was uh, checking all those research or policies, really uh, very nice policies were there, uh, which may be very much effective, especially uh, after the pandemic and even during pandemic, how different, very, uh, I mean, if, if problems can be solved. Those are there in the policy. So uh, as we are uh, 
we we promise like i should say i thank to uh, because i before moving to professor elia janaj for the concluding remark uh, from my side i should say that why this con congress was organized believe me when we did our conference right after that we have seen like a lot of people are thinking to do something to do something what to do what not to do but this is a platform believe me when there are 50 60 people are telling about the ideas at least you can see what other people are doing we don't have to reinvent the same wheel so at least you can know what they are doing so all these ideas are archived not the detail at least the abstract and then all the projects also the abstracts and video presentations are there as well as some research and uh, some policies and debates all the debates are recorded so these things will be published in the uh, i think our young leaders are there so uh, facebook and youtube also will be publishing so that's the way to create an archival to create a platform so that later on you can see check and uh, if you have something you can share at that uh, particular case now uh, maybe we'll be having a picture because it's uh, uh, for the picture sir i'm asman sir yeah. before going to the closing remarks uh, actually i want to uh, mention honorable thanks from our team uh, to the, our judges especially those judges actually preliminary they actually scrutinized our ideas our projects our policies and obviously our debate competitors so i really want to thank them actually for their effort we could actually select the preliminary ideas so thank you very much our judges and sir one more thing i want to mention our ambassadors they really worked very hard and in our the four groups in the idea group in the project and in the debate i think and in the uh, uh idea project Policy. Uh, policy, policy, policy policy session a policy and research session so thank you very much our dear ambassadors because uh, for your effort actually we could do that and obviously our judges both in my idea session there were yasir arafat sir and there were abdul rahman sir and other judges like uh, from just panels and i hope in the same thing happened in debate as the same i mentioned in project and in policy and in research so thank you very much our judges actually we really owe to you and our ambassadors also you are our heart and you are the backbone of this program and obviously i want to thank our <laughs> general chair sir shanaj ma'am and our technical chair fatu <laughs> sir so thank you very much everyone and obviously i am by nasim bhai and everyone who were associated with the covid 19 protests so thank you very much and please pardon me if i forgot to mention <laughs> any special so especially thanks to all of you thank you thank you Yeah, thank you admin uh, sir i also like to say something some words sure, sure. Uh, first i would like to thank our general chair silia ma'am uh, it was very uh, difficult task to uh, make this congress happen to uh, design all the sessions only she could do it with all her uh, hard work her uh, Uh, actually at this point i'm speechless i know um, how many sleepless night she spent uh, to organize this uh, to make this congress successful so i'm especially thanking professor dr silia shahnaz uh, our general chair of this uh, international covid covid congress then i would uh, like to thank uh, professor dr sheikh anwar fatta uh, i spent hours and hours talking to him planning designing every session how should uh, how, how the judges uh, judging judgment should be how the uh, the participant uh, should uh, present their uh, ideas or projects how many minutes uh, should they have etc etc and uh, for in, i i was uh, uh, i was responsible for the project session and for, uh, in our project session there are two lead judges uh, i would like to mention professor md farooq hussain and professor abm aulad uh thank you sirs uh with your judgment uh, and with your uh, leadership uh, the project competition was successfully done uh thank uh, again i'm going to thank uh, azmain bin amir and em nasim novi <laughs> both the two without whom uh, this congress uh, could not be this successful thank you thank you thank you thank you i mean uh, yes uh, we are at the end so what happened like when we did the 10 sim and then uh, week up 
So what happened? People ask us, uh, how did you do that within very short time? Uh, it's a great because uh, you will be astonished because we got some emails from very very renowned person in IEEE. They said like this Congress should be uh, bannered in global IEEE. Why it is in Bangladesh section? Because the number you have collected uh, around 400 contributors, 400 registrants, and 50 plus international speakers all are concentrating on COVID-19, so it should be a global. So when we spoke with our, I mean, Professor Celia, when she approached our president of IEEE, so believe me, he, he, he is extremely busy, and I know uh, with uh, different committees we are work, working. I mean, within very short time, he said that I should come, and he came. So IEEE president, uh, generally it's not very easy to get the IEEE president in an event, so he came and uh, if, if, if he praised a lot to Professor Celia in her correspondence and IEEE Regent and Director and I should another I should say I, IEEE MGA uh, Vice President Pook Jin Shun or Akinuri, Professor Essen Singh. So these people, they were also inspiring. Yes, you are doing a very good job and IEEE President. So Professor Celia Shahnad, uh, she served in Regent 10 so from Bangladesh, the only person during the last 27 years, uh, Professor Celia Shahnaj was in the region 10. So uh, she has the connections and she has the relationship. We are also serving, many of us are at this moment in, from Bangladesh in different committee, but I, I should uh, praise the appreciation from our honorable IEEE president, Toshio Fukuda. I should praise the uh, encouragement that we got from our region 10 director, Aki Nuri. Uh, he could not present at that very moment, but he sent the speech and uh, vice chair uh, SN Singh, who is the India Council chair, he was there in the inaugural and always inspired us for this event. So, Professor Celia Shahnaj, you had a very nice dream. So, we are uh, all the Bangladesh section, even at this moment in night, I can see the faces of Bangladesh section. Believe me, it's, it's an amazing platform. If you join in Bangladesh section, executive committee, then you will feel all our excoms are here. And you can see even, I mean, I can see the faces. Uh, when we say that you have to do it, they did it. And they, they said that it's our duty. So why will not be doing this? A lot of judgments. So I can say that all our excom members, as Nasim uh, Raihan and uh, Ajmain mentioned, they did a fantastic job in evaluating all these jobs. So it's not a single effort, Professor Celia Shahnaj and, and her team, I should say, the Bangladesh Section Executive Committee, and most important, our ambassadors. When we first, I met with first ambassadors, <clears throat> we just, uh, first we, I met with 36 in one meeting. We had a two hours meeting with the ambassadors. So there were 36 ambassadors. Many of them are from uh, different countries. So they were very much enthusiastic. They were asking, what should we do? I should just say that you have to tell this is a good initiative to other people. That is your job as an ambassador. I am sure they have told that. Otherwise, why there are 400 plus registration? Why there are 400 competitors in this competition arranged by Bangladesh section? So thanks to 110 ambassadors who, are, who were with us. And <clears throat> we had judges. We had a call for mentors and judges we had received a lot of calls and finally we got 25 judges. They worked very, hard, very hard during the first scrutiny because all the documents we sent to them and they had to evaluate, put the marks and then return to us. That was the first round. Again, they came here. So that was the mode. We thought that, okay, we cannot just do the research. We have to give platform for project ideas because if we just do the conferences like research, these people, they cannot come forward because conference papers to get the acceptance, you have to have a lot of barriers sometimes. So even your work is very good, your writing is bad, conference paper will not be accepted. But this is the platform. You had the idea, it, it is working. You came here, you presented, we are happy. And also I think you are happy that it's sometimes winning is not at all because many of my work may not be um, uh, rejected at some time, but why we do our work? We do for our own satisfaction. So those who have not owned the competition, 
please don't lose heart this is the start and beginning you have a relationship with a lot of people here so i think keep continuing and you will be having the chance of winning later time winning is not the main criteria giving something to the community doing something for your own satisfaction i believe that is the main thing why you are doing this for our own satisfaction for our community i lose or i win i don't care so with that say i uh, want to go to our general chair professor celia shana uh, for her nice vision so for her concluding remark thank you thank you for uh, describing the whole platform the idea behind it and the countless efforts and the way it was implemented that is important many people have good ideas but the implementation path is very long very tough and there are a lot of dropouts so when after the tensem i was thinking that i want to do something that is very important very timely because at that moment i was writing a small proposal but with a good vision with a small money maybe in north america there are millions of dollars involved in good funding i was just fighting for funding 5000 us dollar in the month of march so i was writing a proposal uh, along with my two very young members dr lamia and jakaria they did very well we wanted to train our students how to build a disinfection robots disinfection robots so that they compete with each other they mix with each other they mingle with each other and they come up with a better solution a solution from bangladesh a solution from an undergrad solution a solution from a mentor and then hopefully that we can implement in the their their campus first and then we can talk with our city mayor that how it can be implemented in public places because in my everyday webinars where i am talking i was listening to my friends and singapore it is already implemented so i thought that no matter where we live no matter what is the name of my country we have the same talent but we may have many limitations but we have our vision we have our hard work that's why we thought that we will do something so from that proposal actually i was started thinking about doing this covid congress something that will encourage many minds and i wanted to transform my dream to the dreams of many so today at this moment i can feel that really i could do that from one dream it becomes the dreams of many and i really feeling so grateful to all the speakers i learned a lot for last two days i was just listening to them and thanks a lot to all contributors my committee members and the participants to make this dream implementable implemented to realize and to prepare us to really fight the challenge of covid-19 because we are we are not the first responders we are not the doctors we are the technologists we are not doing humanitarian technol we are not doing humanitarian activity what we are supposed to do humanitarian technology based activity to do that i hope it is a very good platform many people are telling that productivity is increasing but we have proven that if we can inspire people if you can encourage people productivity will be doubled and we can do something that can reshape people life that can reshape people's thinking that can help us to get encouraged to get empowered to overcome these challenges of this pandemic time actually that was my desire so i really thank everyone everyone of you and especially we have we have we, we have our mentor professor fatta taken for granted all the time and we have our very dedicated volunteers the future leaders so whenever somebody tells me i am a leader then i i laugh at me and i think 
No, I'm not a leader. I'm maybe a leader producer because I can see many more better leaders than me. So that's important and that's the satisfaction. The way we get satisfaction, Jan, when my student get admission in the Cornell University, then I get satisfaction that I was not a graduate of Cornell University, but my students is doing. So same feelings. When I see a lot of budding leaders who are able to take responsibility with me, hands and hands, and able to uh, opine in the same way, similar in the same tune, and then I can see that I was able to clone many Celia Chanel's. That was important. When I returned home from North America, I was only one Celia Chanel. Now I can see there are a lot of Celia Chanel's. So that's, and their gender may be different. And that is a big satisfaction. Let us work harder together and let us work important, uh, share our resources together and take our knowledge from professor like Saif Islam and many other professors around the world. We have to, they are very busy. We have to drag them. We have to tell them. We have to beg their time. We have to listen to them all the time. The younger generation, please listen to them. If we listen to them, the way, the, the thing I could not do in my life, you can do also in your life. That is important. And we have to do it now. Because it is the challenging time. If you cannot do it now, you can never do it. So what my thinking is that, that sometimes you may feel discouraged that your awards are not coming, your positions are not coming, your success are not coming, you are living in Bangladesh, maybe there are a lot of limitations, you are living in Shondip, you are living in Chakur, but it is not true. Living in Bangladesh, I want, I did something along with my team, which maybe, maybe many people could not do. That's the thing that your, everything can be taken away, but one thing cannot be taken away. That is your spirit, your determination and your focus. Let us all remain focused. Let us all do hard work. So when I was in my childhood, my mother was very caring for my study. And one thing was very common in my life, 3H, homework, homework, homework. I was a, a meticulous planner for finishing my homework. Now I believe in 3H, hard work, hard work, and hard work. So side by may tell that I'm fearing people and making people very, uh, too much, um, uh, they will fear me, but actually no, this is the time when we have to uh, take this positive fear and we have to really work hard to change these challenging times using technology and using upskilling yourself. Upskilling is the only thing in IEEE. If you can upgrade yourself, then only thing you can win this competitive world. So let us remain united and let us work together and most important, let us share the knowledge with each other. Unity and sharing of knowledge, engagement, empowerment, enthusiasm will bring leadership and will bring many more new things. But always there will be a gap between ex expectation and achievement. By our hard work, by our unity, by our passion, by our appeal, we can reduce that gap and we can bring success, not only ourselves, we can bring success for many because the best thing and best satisfaction in life for serving others. That is the tagline of IEEE. Technology for the benefit of humanity. Let us remain tuned with this tag and let us be prepared with many more good works. With that said, thank you. I want to say bye to you and I want my sincere gratitude to all my committee members, all my volunteers, all my hard workers, all the contributors, and all my mentors. That is important. I must be having very good mentoring. That's why I can do it. So I express my sincere gratitude to my mentors also. So thank you all. Thank you for having patience and listening to me in such a late night. Thank you. <laughs>